Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, guys, back to my channel. You think you got hired among bunches, but you're actually getting fired within the bunches. My name is Rom, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hire a Bunch of Fire Bunches. Um, well, um, previously, I released a shorts video in regards of the recent pretty hot topic Tokyo Game Show and 2023 and on the shorts I was actually talking about yes we're gonna have exclusive uh, interview analysis video just like we did before for the other gaming topics or celebrity topics um, what you don't know we have celebrity interview analysis topic yeah check those right there check my playlist anyway so back to the topic yes um, I'm again doing the uh, analysis for interviews uh, in during the Tokyo uh, Game Show 2023. Uh, pretty much, man, it's it was pretty hard to find one actually uh, the presentation or like a formal job interview. Those ones, right? It's uh, there are more game display or um, game trials trailers than the uh a former interview than the other game shows among the years so but i but i actually find one uh, this is a this is a keynote uh, uh i could say presentation or a keynote uh show or the Tokyo game show it's more like a closing closing um interview um there are four guys were interviewed during the uh this he notes and i'm gonna show you their names uh right there yeah i i wasn't able to find their wiki so for some reason i i guess they're pretty low-keyed about their jobs their um position and what they've been doing but you know this is their names and we're pretty much gonna focus on eric patterson and uh pierre lop uh pierre loop uh griefers because they're the two, <laughs> they're two of the fours that are speaking English without translation. So we're gonna do that. Um, and this is Tokyo Game Show uh, main channel on YouTube. So I'm going to do so. Well, before that, hey, um, uh, you know, guys, check my link trees page for other um perks that I have for the channel. And if you like my channel, please, please help me support me. My coffee page. You know, just help me uh, buy some coffees, okay? Anyway, two questions from uh, one or two of the interviewers and interviewees in the show. First question is going to be on the mark of 8.3. Okay, I'm going to leave the main link below. So if you're curious about who who they are, what they're doing, you know, go check the link on the web page and find their names and job titles and company. Maybe check their LinkedIn page. You know, let's do 8.5. So there actually what was it? Oh, 50. All right. So we got we don't have this. Oh, hold on. Okay, this is the end of the Thank previous. Thank you so much. So over the past five years, the Japanese market is growing and rapidly. And it's not uh, from the team members' perspective. Have you ever tried something new and that's the catalyst to boost the Japanese market? Or is that the Japanese game users are coming and growing automatically? Do you have any strategies behind it or Oh. Or nothing the, the growth is okay okay the question is um they're questioning to the steam uh company the press represents uh, reps for a steam company who is a major uh game platforms right or among the more and they're also making game console which is steam deck anyways um they're asking the interviewees that what have you done to um boost the pc market which is their which is going to be their f next focusing market in the world pc game market what have you done what have you been doing what have you improved to achieve that and actually on the um comparing to what we have in a previous video i do have another video uh in, in regards of this question which is uh which is this 
what have you done or describe a time when you solve x y and z questions or issues right this is a very similar question so check that and then we'll come back to the tokyo show game show um let's see how eric pettison answers the question this come from two different things one is that we're seeing growth all across the world but in particular in japan i think that they are players are resonating with those features that purely were mentioning we're also making an effort, uh, and the reason why we're here today at TGS is meeting with developers and publishers to find out what they need to help grow their business in, in Japan and around the world. And it, just finally, you know, we also talk to developers and publishers around the world and encourage them to localize their games in Japanese and also release their games in Japan so that they're available on Steam. Thank you so much, God. Okay, great. Uh, that's a very good, uh, I think that's a very good format and structure, structure of his answer. Um, he's talking about three points, first point, second points, and then third point. What they have done, uh, making examples, very concise, very short. That's a great example, but do you understand? If you don't, you know, go back to play again. And the next question, um, it's, a, it's a little bit like a art looking for future. Um, let's get to 35 minutes mark. No, 13, yeah. If you see those green, green stuff, yeah, that's that's the basically the title of the question in Japanese. I have no idea what they're talking about. But I know a little bit, to be honest. The second question is a little bit like a uh, future all looking. And let's see what he's asking, the, the, uh, the, the host. So what do you think about uh, your strategy to increase the users? Okay, so what do you think your strategy to increase the PC game PC game users? To increase PC game users. Basically, uh, it can be converted or translated into what would you do in the future to increase your user or what would you do in the future for your position? Because his position is basically the sales. So what will you do? What do you think what you're going to do to improve or to change to uh, to better your position in my team or your career, right? Basically something like that. Um, in the meantime, you know, I do have... <laughs> yeah, here you go. Sales uh, commercialization uh, time. I do have another video, actually previous video, I was talking about um, what to take to be successful in this position. That's one of my 100 interview question and answer, right? So it can also be another uh, uh, video that I did um, that I talking about how, how do you see yourself in the future, right? In five years, 10 years. So uh, go ahead and check those, review those interview uh, if you want. But I'm pretty sure it's going to help you. But back to our question here. And let's see what Erica says. Really optimistic about the future of PC gaming in Japan. We think it's going to continue to grow, and we don't see any sign that it's going to slow down. Mm -hmm. As more people are introduced to PC gaming and playing games on Steam in Japan, yep. we think that that's just going to continue the growth because they see the advantages of playing games on PC and, and what Steam can offer. And for us, this also reinforces that okay, uh, focusing is... on Steam Deck in Japan is Here. the right thing to do. Through our continued partnership with Komodo, we'll be expanding Steam Deck retail availability so that uh, customers in Japan can go to a store and experience it for themselves to see that it's a good fit. We really do believe that Steam Deck is a great opportunity for continued PC gaming success in Japan as it combines the power and the advantages of PC with the ease of use of a console. In the future, we'll be working really hard to continue to make sure that all the latest releases are a great seamless experience on Steam Deck. We have to do a good job because Japan is the true birthplace of portable gaming. Okay, well, that's a, that's a funny answer. Um, so from, from, from this uh, question and answer, you can see that uh, Eric, which is the guy who, who answered first, he's basically gave an out, outlook, like overview. Oh yeah, we don't see any decrease in the uh, user. And yeah, we're gonna do our best. And then the second guy, which is Pierre, um, he he's basically giving examples of this is what we this is what we can do. 
Uh, this is what we found out, but based on what we found out, this is what we're going to do. And this is what we see in the future uh, X, Y, Z. Okay, so um, it's pretty much like the, the, the same way that we answer the question, uh, what do you see in the future? How do you, how, how will you do to achieve the goal or how will you do uh, to improve yourself in this position? That's the same question. So make sure you guys check the previous video uh, for a review. Okay. <laughs> I think by the time you've seen the video, I, I believe I already decided to cut off all the Japanese translation because it really takes a lot of time off, off this episode. So, yeah, you're probably going to see uh, the English version. But, well, um, that's a pretty good show, man. I got to say, um, it's uh, it's always difficult to find a formal interview question answer time during the uh, very big show, especially for gaming industry. Um, so... Well, this time I do find this clip and I think it really helped uh, to um, to prepare the interview and see how the professional people answer interview questions, okay? So, hey, again, um, make sure you leave a comment below. If you like or dislike the uh, or you dislike the content, make sure leave a comment below so I can pick up one to three, three of your comments from you to make a, a video, just like free giveaway, okay? And again, if you like, please hit the like button and subscribe and share. And same old, same old. I'll see you when I see you for the next episode. Peace out.